Political killings have been rife in the country for several years now, particularly in KwaZulu-Natal. The ongoing murders of councillors and candidates in KwaZulu-Natal. Politically, a province such as KZN, it has almost become a norm that uh, leaders are taken out in this manner. Let's begin in KwaZulu-Natal, where senior Etegwini water and sanitation manager has been gunned down. 40-year-old Noctula Mabaso was gunned down last week. Mapungum Kiza's death follows several attacks on politicians in the province. It looks like contract killings have really become a career. South Africa is in an abnormal crime situation. Contract killings are escalating in South Africa, especially in the volatile province of KZN, where trained assassins have been making their presence felt in the taxi industry across the political spectrum over tenders and jobs in municipalities and in other areas, such as business. In April 2023, the Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime released a report titled Murder by Contract, Targeted Killings in Eastern and Southern Africa. The initiative had recorded 141 assassinations in South Africa the year before, defining them as targeted hits with victims being killed for political, commercial or personal gain by a third party or parties contracting the hitman or hitmen. According to their report, some 51% of all contract killings in South Africa are related to the taxi industry, while politics-related murders account for 21% of killings, 20% are due to organized crime, and 8% are of a personal nature. It's become so cheap and easy to eliminate people. Uh, even the IFP mayor of, of uh, the district mayor of the IFP in the north said that um, Instead of uh, procuring bodyguards, counselors would um, would contract Iyengabi or shooters or assassins to to not only guard them but to take care of to, to eliminate the, their opponents. Daily Maverick spoke to two Izingabi. One began when he was 22 years old and is now 37 years old. During that time, he has executed over 25 hits. At the beginning, he says he used to get paid 20,000 rand for a hit, but now he makes up to 500,000 rand per hit, especially when it comes to high-profile political assassinations. The second hitman says he feels that his job is his destiny. His father owned taxis, and he was about 10 or 11 when his father first showed him his guns. And as a teenager, he played with them and practiced with them. Quote, unquote, I was a marksman and I gained a reputation for splitting the skull. After that, I was called whenever there was someone to be eliminated. From there, it's been job after job. I don't even know how many people I have killed. 